Everyone knows the classic comic book hero, Superman, is faster than a speeding bullet. But how fast does a speeding bullet travel? Season four Top Shot champion, Chris Chang, helps us demonstrate how to measure the speed of a bullet and why it's important to know the speed. In the mid-1700s, scientists and mathematicians began measuring bullet speed using the newly invented ballistic pendulum. This device was designed to measure a bullet's momentum, from which it is possible to calculate the speed using mathematical formulas. The use of the ballistic pendulum was short-lived with the invention of the chronograph in the early 1800s. The chronograph has evolved greatly over the past decades, but the concept is still the same. Present-day chronographs consist of two sensing areas known as chronograph screens. Each chronograph screen contains an optical sensor that detects the movement of the bullet using light. The bullet is fired through both screens, and the chronograph measures the time it takes the bullet to travel the distance between the screens, determining its speed. While in flight, every bullet experiences drop, the effect of the Earth's gravitational pull on the bullet's trajectory. Some shooters prefer to minimize the drop by increasing the speed, which creates a flatter trajectory, reducing the need to aim above a target. In addition to drop, the speed of a bullet can also affect how close together bullets will hit a target, also known as grouping. Depending on the firearm, increasing or decreasing the speed of a bullet can change the size of a shooter's group. I could talk all day about how experimenting with bullet speed can change your performance, but right now it's time for me to hit the range and do some experimenting of my own. For Firearm Science, I'm Jesse Duff. See you next time.